time. Yes, he has. Yeah, he's had a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. And he still gets to snuggle up every night under the covers. No, he's too hot for under the covers. He's, he's a top of the covers. He's a top of the covers, yeah. He's a top of the cover boy. But you know, I don't like to, um... To let him too far out of my sight because of his... Because he's his blind. Age, <laughs> his, his, his hearing and... So when he goes for walks, does he kind of walk behind people? Like the other dogs? Or? No, he just... He, if he's real familiar with it, he does very well. Oh yeah, he can kind of smell his way through or whatever. But you know, he's so familiar. It's just like being blind. You know, you yeah. can find your way. Yeah. But if it's someplace new, like one time I took him to the beach, and um, he knew he wanted to get into the surf, and he got in there, and then he couldn't figure out why he was there, how he got there, what he was doing there. Oh no! It was just like he had. He was. He just had a brain fart. You know, he made a, like a little mini stroke because he, he kept looking around like, like, what am I doing here and what am I supposed to be doing and, oh. no. Aww. But you know what, I this is what I tell him. This is the last day I ever get to see you. You you know I loved I, I loved you and I gave you a great life. Mm -hmm. And they've been such great friends to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He better die in a sleep, that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> I tell you, Lewis and I went through that with Quinkley. Oh, I could not yeah. be there and Lewis couldn't be there. Yeah. Yeah. It all worked out fine. It does, and you know, I'll get through this just like I got through everything else.